you to and in today's video i will be reacting to to episode six of hana Gokun. so let's go ahead and get started in three two one go i was like all fucking day yesterday for this found out that it got delayed at the same time i found out that they were releasing the damn episode and i was like well i'm a little busy now I know, right? Well, I mean, mostly it's about his brother. <clears throat> yeah, so that's why you're going to find his book. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> The best sleep purgatory. Oh! Oh! <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, black are for the living. I mean, for the dead. And it should be in alphabetical order, right? Are you sure you want to read your book, though? <laughs> Why did I think she was going to write, like, fan fiction between her and Hanako? <laughs> Yeah, but are you sure you want to read that? Huh? <laughs> oh, damn. You poor baby. Should have read it. Mm 
shit. Yeah. But what a thought. Yeah. That too. <laughs> oh. Well, it has to be the girl with the green hair and that guy. But that includes yourself. That's cute. <laughs> I 
太高了。Oh. <laughs> That's just so fucking cute. Oh my god. Kevin Shinobu would be the best of friends. <laughs> I don't trust that. Mm -mm. Hmm? <laughs> Sexual harassment. <laughs> He's always there when she needs him. He has to be. I mean, he's a teacher. It's his job to learn for all his students, no matter what who it is. It's simple. It's not really. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
you might as well just say it. You say that, but it's not final. You <laughs> don't you dare. Yeah, but you can have it. Of 
but that never happened. Of course, because you can't say anything else without spoilers. I get that, but I have so many questions. Oh, fuck. Donuts. <laughs> uh, I want donuts, even though I had eggs and stuff. <laughs> but okay. Oh my god. To like now know his true name, Yugi. It, it, it's cute. I, I'm just getting feels to like Yugi now. Like Yami Yugi, Yugi Yamo. But oh my god. Can we just talk about his fucking bruises? What the fuck? Oh my god. Mm mm. I have so many questions about Yugi, Hanako-kun, in general. I mean, what the fuck? He has to be coming to, he had to be coming to school every day with bandages and bruises and anything on his arms, maybe his face, everywhere. I, I mean, I don't want to think it, but then it seems like he had family trouble at home. I I'm guessing he was possibly abused by his parents or something like that. Almost as like if any of you have seen Happy Sugar Life and how they told that story of abusement and being obsessed with someone in it. And I really think it's a good way to um, learn about that. But then there's also other animes that have done it. But I feel like Happy Sugar Life, in my opinion, did it well in going into that deep, dark, depressing-ish, even though like... I still didn't like the ending up until today. But, I mean, you when you look at Hanako and then you're thinking about what his life was as a child, as a human, before he died, I wasn't, ex I was like, I wasn't expecting all of that, especially with his arms and everything. I was thinking that he was a troubled student, just like any other, you know, typical main character. Usually sometimes they are a trouble student or they are a straight A student and they're doing well in school, but they still have um, trouble at home with their family or whoever they are. Are they just, no matter where they go, they just get into trouble. Just like how with one show that I just started a couple of days ago um, is because no matter where he goes, where he runs or whatever, he always seems to have trouble following him. But I mean... Ugh, I don't know. I, I still love him. He's still a precious baby boy that needs to be protected. But whoever this traitor is and who is working 
with the girl with the green hair and the boy. It, it's somebody that, of course, we haven't met yet. So I'm guessing, like, we got six more episodes left before this show is over because I think the show either has 12 or 13 episodes. I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, could literally be anyone. But the fact is, like, it was someone who looked like Hanako. And so I, I'm guessing, like, really? 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 Oh, because I'm unplugging it. That's why. <laughs> um, I'm guessing Hanako. Hanako, like, I'm still going to guess the brother theory thing. There has to be someone else who maybe... Mm, copycat? I don't know. I, I, have a, I have no fucking clue. Honestly. But, like, damn. This was a really good episode. I wasn't expecting to learn... A little bit more about his backstory and how he was. I mean, he felt like just a kid that you would want to be friends with no matter what. Even though he was not the best student. He seemed very to himself. And I'm like that too. But when I see someone else like that, you kind of want to just be nice. And you want to get to know them just to see how they are as a person. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 6 of Toilet Bound Hanako Game. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 7. Happy Valentine's Day. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.